In this video, I'll show you how to connect a Lightning to USB Type-C cable to your MacBook Air M1 or M2 to connect an iPhone like this one, since it has a Lightning connector over here. So to do this, all you need is one of these cables that is that has a Lightning connector over here. So this will connect right into the iPhone here. And on the other side, you need one that has the USB type C port because that's what the MacBook Air M1 and M2 has right here on the side. They have two ports, both of them are USB type C. So you just have to connect one into another and you're done. You can also, if you don't have this cable here, but let's say that you have one of these, which is a USB type A to lightning, you know, most people have one of these, then you'll need an adapter. These are very inexpensive. And by the way, I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one of these cable or this or this adapter on Amazon, I'll put links down below. So if you have one of these cables, all you have to do is to purchase a USB type C to USB type A adapter, just like this OTG adapter. It needs to be OTG just has the one uh, that I put in the description. So you just have to connect these two. Now let me, and then take your iPhone, connect the lightning part, this one. Okay. Right over here. And this USB-C on the side here, on either of uh, the two ports. It's not important which one you're using. There are two of them, but you can use either of the, these. And you're done. Now the computer is connected to your iPhone. You may get this message over here. Let me show you. That says unlock iPhone to use accessories. Then you'll need obviously to do what it says. So you're going to unlock your iPhone. Let me use my face ID here. And you'll get this message, trust or don't trust. Obviously you want to connect it. So you're going to select trust here on your computer as well. You may have one of these message that's saying a software update is required, blah, blah, blah. You'll need to install the software update and click install. It won't take too much, by the way. Here on the iPhone, it will tell you enter device passcode to trust this computer. So you'll need to enter the passcode of your iPhone. So I'll go ahead and once I enter it, this message will disappear. You can put this aside here and the download here, it's still going on about three minutes, 20 seconds left. And once it will be done downloading, both of them will be able to connect together. So this is it. I hope this was useful. Please leave a like, a comment down below, and I will see you in the next one.